You can shoot it for more. So, I myself have never really seen Marth in this matchup, but I have seen Lucina. I think Marth has to play a little bit more grounded, just because he obviously can't risk going for any sort of offstage factor, yeah. because if you get a weak hit, then you're dead. But I think the main premise behind this is just walking, like a lot of walking, but also a lot of standing. Just letting Pikachu kind of take the approach, because if you try to approach Pikachu, any sort of whiff punish is guaranteed like 30 or 50 damage. Yeah, it's like put yourself in a Bane punish situation, you know. Let the obstacle course come to you. Don't try and force it. Pikachu loves it when you try to enforce it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Pikachu's all about that, so yeah. And and, and uh, X is definitely a very learned Marth. He's gonna be uh, I think pretty cool comp collected uh, in his approaches. Not gonna see too much of like uh, frustrated play, stuff like that. But you know, regardless, uh, Joe Pone really putting on the uh, the damage right now. Yeah, one fifteen, and now one thirty. Joe Pone, very solid Pikachu in his own right. Uh, gonna be sealing out that first stock, only taking fifty damage. Oh boy, that that's see, that's the classic X stuff. I mean, when we go for those shield breakers. Well, yeah, honestly, if Jopone uh, just like stays constantly moving, he won't really have to worry about those shield break setups. And like that, that's really the, the anti-play for it because it's really when you get too comfortable in your shield or just like taking it slow that you get scared and you do like maybe uh, an errant roll or, or poor spot dodge that the, where the shield breaker is really going to come in. Uh, so right now, you know, Joe just stay moving. And uh, almost lapping in percent. Right now, X needs to figure out what this puzzle is. Yeah. It's really hard to challenge to get that ledge because get back around. Ooh, he could have gone for straight for a thunder. I like that he's using a lot more kill, recognizing that he's not able to get too much off of this straight aerial. Oh man. Yeah, now he's just really pulling away with a very strong lead. I like that he's like weighted out the invincibility by going under the stage. Look at that little dash back he does. Potentially getting the tipper. Oh man, if he got the tipper on that forward tilt, that would have taken the stock. Alright, this is. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunate. No up throw? I would bet he scaled it, potentially. I mean, Town does have a high ceiling, but I mean, Pikachu's like, look, he's at almost 200. Just, you know, give him the old pizza toss. I think if he can, I think it's conditioned now. Shield, so he should be able to, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but you see how fast he died? Like, he definitely would have died like a, like 10, 15% earlier. Regardless, uh, X finally able to get a stock uh, on the board. But could it be too little too late right now? Joe has been just been in control the whole time. He's got to hurry up as well. There's less than three minutes. Yeah, Joe has been taking his time. Wow. Yeah. The no DI. Actually able to survive. Wow. Just narrowly. Uh, Avoiding that. 
Ooh, wanted to check it after that fight. Uh, Let's not try and punish like that. The, the person who's in the position to juggle is always an advantage. Like, what was the risk reward there? The risk was dying. <laughs> Yeah. The reward wasn't even even uh, Joe Bone going to die, so oh. like, come on. Yeah, it's tragic. I yeah. mean, it, the problem with Mark in this matchup is Mark as a character depends a lot on full hopping. Um, that's how he gets his like full hop quarter into Nair, or like full hop quarter into just another falling quarter. So he mm -hmm. depends on that. When you fight against small characters like that, especially Pikachu, who just pancakes every time he does. An aerial, yeah, it's very hard to like man those attacks. So he has to play a lot more grounded and tip chase, with, like tilts. And in this game, I feel like I don't think they really have much off of that. What I want to see is um, that, like, when he's dancing around, just like throwing out things like Nair to try and like stuff, it's just like if it doesn't hit, whatever. Like, Pikachu is the one driving the pace because of his speed, but like, Pikachu has to go in and, uh, eventually, so like. All you have to do is catch him slipping once and like, you know, every time you just like get some damage, you're just going to be whittling, whittling away until you're able to build a lead there. And uh, you just, you, you start straining, you start making the, uh, you know, making Pikachu second guess on how he's going to be able to go in. And then because of that, you're exerting pressure in the sense that like they're going to start second guessing how they're going in. And mm. it's going to make it either more telegraphed or slower. And once it slows down, you're able to speed up and catch them off guard, you know? And yeah, yeah. so like when Pikachu's just dancing around, you go like, all right, all right. But try and read the movement and stuff like that and make him afraid to move. Anyway, going into game two, uh, X's counter pick uh, is going to be Yoshi's. Two, one. Triplats are definitely gonna benefit his style. He definitely like doing a lot of like walk off here. Yeah, I, I think this like you know it's a pretty comfort pick for Marth, but like I also feel like this can be a double edged sword because it can be scary for uh, fighting Pikachu on such a stage because Pikachu already is such a mobile character, so adding platforms just really just you know emphasizes that dimension of movement that Pikachu's just able to really just execute on. Like, just like how Marth has a quick way to the top platform, so does Pikachu, you know? Yeah. Whatever he has, Pikachu has. Yeah, right now Joe is still able to play keep away, catching that attack with the dash attack that comboed into the fair, able to take the stock. See, down the stock on a triplat is is some bit is a big deal. Yeah, I'm definitely running away with the lead. Hmm. I'm seeing enough dancing lead either. Like with Marth, you really want to just like. Do a lot of downward dance late just to get some damage that you can. Then at the la uh, later percent, you can usually get the side. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, see, that's exactly what you want to go for. The side B. Oh, wow. I like that little anti edge guard attempt by Joe Pone, but it wasn't going to be enough. Uh, mm. X evening up the stocks. 90 damage. It's going to be quite obnoxious to try and close that gap, but when, as long as you're on the same stock, you know, like don't push it. Let it, let it, let it happen naturally, you know. Oh, ooh. Can we see? Are they trying to, trying to make quick work, but not going to work out. Definitely doing a better job of getting damage off of all these lists. Like, mm -hmm. he knows that if Joe goes for all these hunters, he should capitalize on it. Get damage. It's another stock. Ooh. You can't be swinging just because you think you're, like, just because when you're normally out there so deep that uh, you're usually safe. Like, Pikachu can, can go hella deep. So you gotta be ready. You know? Really good stuff by Joe Pone. Just really pushing his advantage and just adding to that pressure. Just not giving X really any breathing room. Nice. Ooh. Great quick attack movement. Definitely. 
Like he's not even using it like to like to like hit with it. He's just using it to like really just get around. I think that's really cool. Eh, or, I mean, okay. I think he's showing off. Of it. He's just like, hey, this might work. LOL. Ooh, the double T jolt. All right, what nice way. Yeah. You better talk about that. Right. X can take the stock. Whoop. Oh, and the T-Jolt assisting it, basically. Getting hit by two uh, dancing up. Uh, and uh, Joe Pong going to finish it with a uh, two, uh, JV2. Oh, yeah, that was some pretty tough stuff uh, for X to deal with. Jopon was basically just in control of the entire set. Look as soon as X kept everything in the forward airs in order to be desperate to get the hit. It's just like Joe, all he had to do was either dash back X smash or just F smash in place. Like, mm -hmm. X is going in too much. Yeah, that was a good it, it's it's like he 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 definitely he slowed it down and he was keeping things more even. But just like when he got put into disadvantage, uh, Jopon was just able to capitalize, uh, and that he just had to recover. He would have to mix up his uh, like recovery pattern. But either way, Jopon moving on 2-0 uh, X. Uh, still a very formidable player, so I, I I see him doing pretty well in the loser's bracket. So we'll see uh, if we see him again on stream, maybe.